I feel like I'm always meant to be off duty, but on duty. My real off duty is like just throwing on a t-shirt, not putting any makeup on, and strolling to the coffee shop with my boyfriend and dog. Like that's real off duty. Come the weekend, my phone gets put down. If you call me on the weekend and I don't answer, it's because it's nowhere near me. It's on the other side of the room. I just love to spend time with Luke and Sophia and I really cherish my weekends with them. Because models look so great in whatever they're wearing, people are always interested in like models off duty. I'm always off duty. I'm not really a model anymore, but I don't, I, I'm kind of fortunate that I don't have to like wear a uniform or anything. Just dress up like fancy to every day. My family is my oasis. It's where I go to just be myself and have fun. That's where I'm my most grounded. And, and without my family, I wouldn't be the person who I am in my work environment. Awkwardly, when I'm not studying, I'm working. And when I'm not working, I'm studying. So as soon as I don't have class and I, I do have this big one month or two month gap, I kind of fill it up with as much work as possible. <laughs> People are always like, how do you have time to sustain all these things? So because it's literally work, studies and Alex. <laughs> now I have a 5.30 a.m. call time, but the sunrise made it so worth it. We worked it out with a really beautiful model, and the goal is to smash out four or five campaign images in about an hour and a half. I mean, early starts are always cold. I feel bad <laughs> for our model. I guess that, and it's really hard for her to take instruction from me because I'm like 100 meters away with a telephoto lens. Look is the blue one piece. I'm gonna shoot it like near that railing. But with your legs going down the stairs. I think you can relax a little more. <laughs> your butt's gonna get wet. I think it's so amazing because um, the water is always moving, so no one shot is ever going to be the same, and there's like so many variables that are different in every frame. Have one more swimsuit, or have we done them all? Oh, we've done them all. Yeah, we've done amazing. Them all. <laughs> thrilled to be working with General Pants. Thanks so much for having me on board. Yeah, no, we're excited to be doing this shit with you. Yeah. I think the candidate, I think this is um, obviously Candace Lakes, I think it's like her fourth collection drop and I think it's this is the high summer drop. So yeah. I think this collection has a lot of fun, floral, flirty kind of girly pieces. Okay, cool. So I think it just needs to show that that kind of playful summer. Yeah. But I think a big trend for us is that whole retro vibe that's coming through, I which we love. love. Yeah, I do we love, love retro vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. for me, maybe um, a bit of a roll with a roll escape might bring that vibe. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I love that. I, I really, I actually really love We Don't Have a Model. I think that's kind of where, uh, you know, General Pants is kind of in that zone as well. I think you're finding that they're, they're actually that more natural vibe is, is, is a lot yeah. is a lot more, um, it sells to our customer yeah. that we're finding, so. Well, and it really does put mm. it like just in that little bit more like aspirational but attainable. But also the non-model, she's still, she's a little nervous and, and yeah. that energy is actually quite beautiful. Cool. Uh, yeah, I really like this vibe for Nadia. I think she's going to really embody yet quite easily. Ready to go. I just had to run out of class. <laughs> you just about to go into class? Yeah, yeah. Do you think you could mark my names off? Yeah. We're doing a shoot with Elle magazine Australia. Um, jewellery and watches. It's going to really focus on the jewellery. We do a bit of this one and this one. <laughs> it's 
we've got the Elle Style Awards coming up for our first birthday. Yeah, I know, exciting, huh? And we've also got a new award, the Best Blogger. Yeah. And we've nominated you oh. to your blog for an Elle Style Award. Are you serious? Absolutely. Oh my God. You've been nominated. Oh my goodness, that's such an honor. Thank you so much, Jamie. You're welcome. And you have been nominated. Have I really? Absolutely. So oh, congratulations. Thank you. You're That's welcome. So you've been nominated for oh, Best Blogger. Oh, that's so special. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have been nominated. No way! Yes. So oh congratulations. My oh, thank you. <laughs> to even be nominated alongside these girls is just incredible. It's just a moment where you pinch yourself because I love Elle magazine and I love Justine Cullen and her team. How did I get here? This doesn't seem right. We're shooting Sarah today uh, for her Tony Banker campaign. Tony Banker is one of Australia's most well-known shoe brands and this is really important to Sarah. I mean, it's big. It's really big for her and I want to do an amazing job because I care about her. She's one of my closest friends and I really... Ooh, it makes me a bit nervous. But she is going to look awesome, so the rest, like, I, that's just my domain, so it should... Hopefully it won't be too bad. <laughs> I love having Zania shoot me. It's just so amazing to work with someone who's your friend and just be able to create something that you both are in line with and both love. And, and we just have this great chemistry. You know, we have this trust. I'm using a 35 millimeter lens, heading towards like a fish eye kind of effect. It means that the shoes are really gonna be highlighted in the foreground. We're just going for a relaxed kind of vibe. All the pieces I'm wearing are just stuff in my wardrobe that I want every girl to be able to feel like she can pair back with the shoes. Game plan, I guess, is just going to put it out there to the media and hopefully sell some shoes. Heading up to the renovation, the house was almost condemned when we bought it, but it's amazing what paint can do. Well, this is my renovation. It definitely had like heaps to do with it, because being a creative person, I think that you have to have your hands involved, like there's no way out of it. When you have a job like mine, you're obsessed with mood boards and Pinterest. So this is kind of something I've put together. We've got this like beautiful rustic approach, kind of old Moorish lighting. Natural timber desks with like old industrial chairs and these kind of old factory lights. So it's gonna be really cool. This is a kitchen, so we'll have like a really nice island bench in the middle. So this will be the master bedroom and then my favourite room in the house is the wardrobe. Uh, you guys have already seen my walk-in wardrobe at the moment is basically covered and I won't complain about that, it's perfectly fine, but I think it's only natural that any female would like to have a closet that they can actually walk into. I think it'll be really good and we'll be looking forward to seeing how it looks when it's filled with beautiful clothes. On a day when the surf's really big, we can actually see the waves and the guys out on the, on the water and one day that'll be me looking down and I'll be watching Sammy and Noxie surfing, so it's really cool. So let's go have a look and see if we can see the office space. So it'll be really quite open, super white walls, so it'll be about beautiful lighting, white walls and polished concrete. Like this is the beginning of the next future, whatever that holds. Six tips to creating a home office would be lots of natural light if you can. If not, good lighting is really important. A colour palette in your environment that is reflective of your mood as far as when you're looking for inspiration. Third tip for me would be good internet access, obviously. Fourth is have something in your office or have pieces in your office that mean something to you that are sentimental. A hanging rack's really important in your office if you work in the fashion industry. Good storage is really important. That makes sure that it's also good looking. <laughs>
So Angela Massoni is in Australia because she's just launched a new range for Target. I got to interview her and she is such an incredible woman and to have such an iconic brand and always stay true to her roots is just incredible. So tell me, what are you doing while you're in Australia? We had a nice uh, party yeah. last night at uh, Iceberg yes. in Sydney to launch for the launch of Target. In your words, how would you describe Missoni's signature style? Uh, what I love is that there's no age for Missoni. So yeah. it's transgenerational. What is the secret to your, your success? Because Missoni has been such an iconic brand for so many years. My parents invented something in fashion. Yes. So they really invented a style, but also a way of dressing. So I have the heritage. I do feel that I know the heritage, but I always look forward. So I'm not afraid of adding mm. new thing. And maybe that's what keeping the line alive after 61 years, yeah. And so I want to know, what are your top five summer essentials? My top five summer essential? Yes. We're coming up to summer and it's... Um, bikini. Bikini. Of course. Yes, definitely. Full skirt, long full skirts. Ah, uh -huh, okay, yeah. Long full dresses. Yes, beautiful. Waterproof mascara. That's a good one, yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, a sun protection. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Strong sun protection. Yes. Flip-flops. <laughs> yes. So flip-flops are okay? Yes. They have to be stylish ones though. You have to be atten attentive, but you can have them. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to be on the beach in Italy. That would be so nice. Thank you so much for Thank today. Thank you. So Thank nice you to meet you. you. And yeah, it's such an honor to meet you. Thank you. Um, that's Ellery, Alexander McQueen, Saint Laurent, la la la. <laughs> so what are you guys going to wear to the Australia Awards? Have you got your outfits yet? I wouldn't have a clue. I like wearing a really nice dress, but I was thinking maybe doing some kind of cool suit you would situation. If you're comfortable, then you'll look relaxed. You emanate a better energy and yeah. I think it's just a nicer way to go. So I think that's going to be my strategy. I'll be calling up the PR guys and be like, what do you have? <laughs> no, it's a pressure, isn't it? Because like you're not able to be stylish and you better come to the party with something <laughs> you need to wear. I get a bit nervous actually walking red carpets and having all those cameras. Have you walked a red carpet before? So I like freaked out at the David Jones show last time and like avoided it. Did you run around the outside? Yeah, They're like, who's that girl? Quick, take a photo. <laughs> well, cheers. So excited for the Elle Tyler Award. Cheers. Yes. I can't no, wait to see what everyone's wearing. It's going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Today, the shoot is for Candidate, which is our Candace Lakes collection for general pants. Candace Lake is obviously an awesome street style photographer. She's well known globally, um, but she's also homebred. So we approached her to do her own range for general pants. It really screams that, you know, that kind of blogger style meets street style meets general pants. <laughs> Nadia is bringing the, you know, the energy that we really need and I think we're having a lot of fun. Can you skate? Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, well, how do I say no here? We'll find I out mean, soon enough. I'll have a go, so... Yeah. Better you and not us. We can talk the talk, it's whatever. Zanina's awesome. I mean, cause just because she knows both sides of the camera, it really helps well. And I think it's so much better working in a collaborative environment. So we're all having our input and I, I think we're getting the results. Normally when we have an awesome shoot like this, we leave our marker general pants and we do a bit, bit of a graffiti. All right, let's find a spare spot. I, I really don't have time for this, no. but I really, I need it. <laughs> Completely, I keep thinking of all the emails. 
I'm like, just stop it, stop it. Just focus and enjoy this moment. My favourite part is actually the, where we like shut the locker and there's my phone inside. Uh, <laughs> stay there, bitch. This so, is wonderful. I am so zen. <laughs> location while you guys are getting all pampered? Yeah. Oh, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> We're part of the um, Elle Style Awards coming up. So what else do you need to do, Sarah, before you're ready for the big event? What about your hair? Are you, are you gonna go somewhere? No, I think I might just do it myself. Oh, really? Yeah, the stylist showed me how to do it myself, so I'm I'm practicing and I think I've nailed it. Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh, you look amazing, don't I? Yeah, you look so good. <laughs> <laughs> we should send a picture to your mum. Oh my god. Okay, but this only goes to my mum. Yeah. It's gonna okay. be nowhere else. <laughs> Alright, no promises, but let's do it. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> you look like a little pirate with your earrings. I look so good. <laughs> So today is the L Style Awards and I'm just going to do my hair with the JHG. So I'm trying to get this like nice polished wave. Hopefully I can do some how-tos and show my readers on how I did it. I'm just going to prep my hair with some total volume mousse just to give it a bit of stability to hold the curl. So right from the roots. I just blasted my hair so it's all dry now and I'm just going to start sectioning it off. I'm using this new wand that's going to hold it all night long. So the GHD has a really good um, heating plate. And you, know, you should have to hold the curl in place for five to seven seconds. Just be patient, do small sections at a time. And now I just have like three more little bits to go. And this is like the most important part around your face, so better do some good curls. <laughs> But obviously I'm not going to leave it like this because it's a bit too like Shirley Temple for my liking. Um, so I'm going to brush it out. And like don't be afraid to brush the curl out because it will hold its shape. And it will just give it a bit of like more of a definition. And then I'm just going to spray very lightly over it just so it holds. I'm done. And now I can actually start my makeup. So excited to be back in Sydney. Just about to head off for the L Style Awards. So tonight's the night. I think everybody who's nominated for the Blogger of the Year category has an equal run of winning. I mean, we're so different, we have different demographic of following, and I think that's the reason why Elle nominated us all. If you win, have you prepared something to say? No, because I'm not going to win. I'm, I'm exactly, and like, I haven't prepared a single thing. Do you reckon that if I won, I could wrap my speech? Oh, I am mood. Sunita. Oh, I am a blogger. Thanks, Mum and Dad. <sighs> This is our only reader voted category out of the Style Awards. So we just picked the ones who we felt got the most traction with, with our readers. So I actually haven't decided what I'm gonna wear tonight yet. This matches kindly helps me out. I was like, guys, help me, I've been studying. And so they sent me a few things. Yeah, so Camilla Mark made me this dress. Oh my God, the knot actually goes with my yeah. shoe. So they designed it around my shoe. Oh my god, it's so sexy! It's a little big for me. Tonight I'm wearing Dion Lee, and Dion's one of my favourite Australian designers. To be recognised by such a prestigious title as Elle, it's just been a really surreal time. In grief. Okay. You guys look so amazing. This is going to be so... really cute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see what maybe a mug's wearing. No. It's very clear that we are in a blogger boom right now, and everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon, and they really gave fashion this new relevance. Cheers, oh, cheers, guys. guys. They took fashion and they democratised it, so rather than having to see just, you know, what the designer wanted you to see, these people started appearing who took the runway fashion and they put it together in their own way. Oh, everything. Oh, Thank you. Dion. 
they made it wearable because they were mixing it with other labels and all of those things that, that make an outfit work for real life. Oh, so it works very well for us because Elle's not necessarily the fantasy of fashion. It's more about personal style than just slavishly following trends. And that's why we include so many of them in the magazine and I guess why we're honouring them tonight. Things have been so crazy lately, so I just said to the girls, we need a break, we need to get away. So we just all jumped in the car, threw all the boards on the roof and hit the road. That was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be.